thank you so much for tuning in to This Is Real with Juan Martinez. And Stephanie And man, you know what? It's exciting. Even though I know God loves me because he done brought New York to me. <laughs> Not only do I have it on a wallpaper, but it feels like NYC outside. Yeah, oh, man. That's it's a real crazy. experience right now. <laughs> and so, you know, we wanted to thank everybody that's listening on the radio who supports us every week uh, through our YouTube. Our YouTube channel, on the podcast, through the Get Rap TV app. Yeah. We're just, you know, listening on old-fashioned way in your car. In your car. Yeah, I mean, you know what? And, you know, the cool part about it is that the enemy thought that he was going to, you know, we have Don't Forget the Forgotten, that we right. always go into the prisons, and he's tried to mm -hmm. kind of, like, not let us in. But now, because of this radio program, we're in 51 prisons, state jails and prisons, right. at the same time, all in one shot. <laughs> So that's what makes it beautiful. And that's only in the city of Houston and all that. That's not counting like whatever we're reaching in Dallas and in Austin, yeah. which is pretty incredible. Yep. All and the it's way all because to of y'all. <laughs> yeah, all the way to the tips of Oklahoma. So this, you know, every Saturday night, uh, this thing is rocking, man. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, they're able to get the free, uh, the free word, right? The gospel, man. And every week we like to keep it real. Yeah. And so we, God keeps blessing us with, you know, we were like, you know, it's kind of cool because you're like, well, what kind of show we're going to do this week? And all of a sudden, <laughs> you know, we were literally speaking about, hey, what we're going to do this week, we're going to do two shows and try to record them. And uh, all of a sudden, God just brings a plane here. Uh -huh. <laughs> and, uh, you know, who's in this plane? No no one else but the dynamic duo. The, the, no <laughs> other. You got to understand. Yeah. You know, like, to get Brian, you see his schedule on that? You see Antoine's schedule? But mm -hmm. all of a sudden, God just brings the plane right here. Batman <laughs> and Robin. And all of a sudden, it's like, they're like stuck in front of the studio. <laughs> For real. <laughs> yeah. No, nah, so here they are, man, with us. Brian T. and Antoine Hill, King yeah. of the Music. Hey. Hey. What up, everybody? God is good. God is good, man. We, Welcome, we, you guys. We've been stuck here since... Uh, this is our second home from home. Basically. Yeah, yeah plane, up. Plane hey, landed, the good it was thing, like stay. The good thing is that you got folks... You know, you got a lot of brothers out here, mm -hmm. and oh, you got yeah. family. Like, so we, we yeah, like, we like had so, a funny I, time. I, 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 I told, like I told him that. I said, I said... Uh, I was like, man, well, this will, we'll get over this in a few days. Like, there's people like really like yeah. stuck, stuck. Yeah. We, we had a conversation with a young couple sure. last night who were here from Virginia, and, and they were literally looking at us like, we don't know what, how are we going to figure this mm -hmm. out? Yeah, because you know they don't know anybody. Yeah. yeah. And we're like, yeah. you know, we have we got people here. Are we even we were given a truck to drive. And, yeah, yeah. You know, we had all this other we stuff. Yeah. People so. last night telling us, to yeah, come we'll bring, bring a generator, generator <laughs> to you guys. You know what I'm saying? So it's like a little bit different for us. So, so I, I could have compl we could have complained, and I was like, nah, we're like, good. Wow. We're, we're all. We're we're hey, I'm very blessed. If the person that was out there that wanted to donate generator, are you donating generators? Because yeah. we could use some. Man, he, he was like, I'll bring it to you right now. You guys can stay at our house. And I was like, Candy. I the think, one guy's like, yeah, How am I going to bring you candy? candy? Oh, yeah, you know? that's true. Somebody yeah. did say, We'll bring you candy. I, I yeah, man. And you know, hey, I want to talk a little squad, bit about. Right, baby. You know, I want to talk a little bit about, like, you, you know, this is going to be one of those shows where we're just going to tackle a lot of little right. topics, mm -hmm. you know. But um, obviously, as you continue to grow and mature, with every single maturing growth and and even the expanse of what god's territory right because he keeps expanding your territory like yep. your, your schedules right there's always things that happen that you did, probably didn't have to apply the word in that you get what i'm saying but yeah. then the time comes where you have to apply because now you're in a new season of your life mm -hmm. yeah and so y'all get judged for Everything. Yeah. Every, I, I mean, oh, at man. least, at least from what I understand, right? Like, Everything. we couldn't even make a spread yesterday. We were like on Instagram just I making saw a spread, that, yeah. and it was like, 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 like if we were doing like our hearts. Why still are you for the glorifying Lord. that old life? Yeah, yeah. People are constantly. How do you guys handle, or or you're still in process of learning, or is it still <laughs> difficult? You know, because I know nothing truly gets easier. You know, uh, it just gets, uh, you get stronger, right. Yeah. Right? right? You get stronger as every time you say no and you say yes to a promise, in, in endurance, you start building your strength. But mm -hmm. it doesn't get easier, right? It's, no. It has to mess with you because when you, 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 Cause when it's I constant, you know, yeah. it, it yeah. doesn't let up. It's, you guys it's love definitely, people. It's definitely yeah. disappointing at times that you can't even uh, enjoy certain things without them saying, critiquing every choice you make. But yeah. I think it comes with the territory too. One hundred percent. And and I've learned even now, like some things I just don't want to be a stumbling block in. Yeah. You know, some things I'd be like, come on, geez, man, you tripping. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But some things I I'd be Cause like, because I see you address some of those things. You know, where yeah. most people won't. Like, because sometimes, sometimes I just think like, everybody wants a detail by detail. Like it's almost yeah. like, tell me what you're gonna do next, and tell me what you're gonna do yeah. next. Mm -hmm. And it's like, dude, like, 
if if you believe that he's a man of God, then trust the fact that his yeah. heart is for the Lord. Because mm-hmm. well, well, that's got to be the bothering part, right? Because well, I know how you love people. Yeah, well, even yesterday, even with the spread thing, that, that first came about because we couldn't find food. Food, for real. Like, <laughs> we couldn't yeah. find gas? Yeah, we couldn't find gas. We couldn't find food. It was like, yeah. this is what we had. Yeah. So that was where it came. I, I think uh, I think now I do way better with it. Yeah. Uh, a lot of times, well, my block game is like impeccable. Like, I'll block you like in a second. I just don't Boom. have time. Like, bam, blocked. Yeah. Gone. <laughs> yeah, because, it, well, it's immaturity, right? Because yeah, yeah. really, people, people speak from, from where they see. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right, so if like you're five, you're gonna speak from a, and then no disrespect, but if you're five, you speak from five year old. Even yeah. if you yeah. you could try to convince that person all day long. Yeah, and I think that's what, it gets so crazy. Yeah, I think the hardest ones are for me is like, uh, um, it's it, 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 when it comes and it's like, man, again, like come on, like it's back to back. It's like you so what just are some, that okay, one what are some of the things. So right, okay. So yesterday, obviously, they're they're you're we're eating and we're actually we're talking six hours about Jesus. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> crazy, the whole time, yeah, right? Because yeah. if they would see the behind the scenes, yeah. we're like having a great time. Fellowship. We're talking about fatherhood. We're yeah. talking about oh, just everything. It was, yeah. it was a whole sermon for six oh, hours. After, it was crazy. Oh, yeah, with laughter mm-hmm. and fun. We had church. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> with, with some noodles and it, all of a sudden, like the it's almost like. The, the way they were judging it was like the noodles took place over our relationship yeah. with Christ, Absolutely. which is yeah. kind of crazy. Yeah, it's definitely you crazy. know, yeah, it, you know, and th- th- that doesn't happen all the time to everybody, right? Yeah. It only seems like to the ones who like are like loving Jesus, but I guess we can't expect anything different because they had they hated Jesus. Yeah, absolutely, right, they hated right. Jesus. I mean, you experienced stuff like that stuff. I feel like some people. Again, it's the maturity level and the place that you're at. Because if you're, you know, Joe Smo and you got 400 friends and you get annoyed by the, you know, 10 posts that you see a day, mm-hmm. you know, get to the level of Kingdom Music, get to the level of Brian, yeah. Antoine, all of that, and multiply mm. that times a thousand, yeah, you know, more than that, right? So yeah. if you're, if, if again, you're looking through the eyes of immaturity, you're not even looking through the eyes of grace, you know, yeah, because yeah, it's yeah. like, Ooh. I'm taking the time out of my day to sit here and write a comment that's not benefiting at all. And if you feel like it's benefiting, is it really necessary to put it on Facebook? Mm-hmm, yeah. <laughs> like you always, hear, you always hear people say, like, if you got a problem with me, call me. And if you don't got my number, then you really don't Please. got a problem with me. Let, you know? me <laughs> let me tell y'all something I, okay. that I got the other day that, that it was it was very disturbing. And I was like, I had to look at my phone like, wow. I check my messages. Now, I got an administration team that goes over every account. So I'm yeah. not the only one on there because it's mm-hmm. impossible to pray for every person. Exactly. And I look at this one message and this dude's on there like, all I catch from the message, I see a bunch of messages, but I just see this last one that says, I had the gun to my head. I almost pulled it. Mm-hmm. You didn't answer my thing. That would have been on your conscience. Luckily, I caught, I, 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 I wow. follow, listen to this. Luckily, I follow another Christian rapper. Who answered. Who answered, you just lost a follower. And I was like, hold up. Is he saying that because it took me days for me to even see that there was a message there that him pulling the trigger would have been my fault? Yeah, like to me, I was like, "That's too much." That, like yeah. that ain't even fair. Mm-hmm. I said, "I said, I said, God bless you, man of God. I'm so grateful that someone did come <laughs> to a time of help." I said, "But you can't put that on me." I said, "Seek Jesus, and not Brian." You yeah. know, and I left it at that. Yeah, it's that that people don't ever want to see the other side. Like the table's important. The table's yeah. important because what we were doing at the table yesterday, yeah. mm-hmm. right, was we were dialoguing, and you were giving me your perspective on certain things, and we were trying to find the maturity in all the perspectives the filter the filter for it yeah yeah yeah. so and then when you get to know that person yeah uh, truly know that person it's kind of like now if you feel if you're in a moment where you don't know where's God at but you know God yeah yeah, like you know him yeah you you know he's coming through even though you don't know how he's gonna come through and I feel like with people Unless you really take the time to know them, because if I know you, then it's easier for me to go, nah, that's not what he means. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because Absolutely. because only like I was looking at right now at a at my thing, and like how many messages you see on the emails there that I missed? Fourteen thousand. Fourteen thousand. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So yeah. so I tell people all the time, I go like, that's why I have an assistant. Yeah. And I go yeah. like, you think that I'm intentionally going? Oh look, mm-hmm. hmm, they sent me an email. I don't want to talk to them. Huh. Yeah, I'm yeah, gonna know. Yeah. Sometimes I'm missing my own mom. Like yeah, you know, like yeah. like th- there's only so many people you could talk to a day. So yeah. many friends you could have a yeah. week. And and then, and then it's about balance too. Like uh, yes. I, I'm going. 
I'm just gonna be real. When I, I'm, we're we're stuck Please, right here. This we're is waiting. real. Yeah, yeah, this yeah. is the yeah. show. We're know, stuck in Houston right now. Yeah, mm-hmm. come on. Uh, my wife, we, we, we didn't get Valentine's Day isn't like a huge deal to right, me, right. not a huge deal, sure. but it's a huge deal to me because it's a huge deal to her. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah. So she was disappointed about Valentine's Day, and I'm like, dang. Yeah. So we've missed Valentine's Day. There's been mm. days in between. I'm supposed to be there the day before. You got to spend that extra money. And now. then yesterday, you got to you got to do like Valentine Valentine. Well, you got to well, add it thick. Money, but anyway, uh, so, so we were supposed to be there today and then tomorrow, and now they're saying, you know, Friday and different things like that, yeah. right? Uh, so when I get home, um, please don't be offended that I don't answer my phone for some days. Yeah, mm. for sure. I, I'd, I'd, oh, because I, they don't, they think you're sitting in front of the phone going, Haha, yeah, who's calling? I don't want to talk. Maybe yeah. No, you don't have to talk yeah, for that. So literally, yeah, like, my phone rings sometimes and I don't even look at who's calling. I, I just think people aren't aware of the where we've gotten to as a society, really, yeah. and yeah. as believers, right? Yeah. Because if you backtrack to back when nobody had cell phones, oh, yeah. and you had to wait until you know, <laughs> yeah, yeah. so-and-so what got you home, done? Yeah. nobody had the anxiety mm-hmm. or the yeah. offense yeah. you know, no. or, or all of that no. to even be upset or hurt yeah. or offended Facts. or any of that. Nobody because you're was... like, oh, they didn't answer. All right, hang yeah. up. But they didn't answer. Okay, let me call again. And I don't let think me FaceTime. I don't think let me send f- another text message. Yeah. <laughs> and I don't yes. think it's fair for you to feel like mm-hmm. I owe you all of my attention. Facts. Yeah. That's like that. I owe my wife all of my attention. Yeah. Yes. My children all my attention. Yes. I think I, I owe the Lord all my attention. I don't really owe yeah. anybody no. else all the my attention. The only thing biblically it yeah. says owe no man nothing yeah. but to love him. Absolutely. Love him. And Amen. to please God. So we pleasing God is the main thing. And it's not that people do it intentionally. Yeah. yeah. You know, I, I and I know y'all. Like I know our lives, you know, like sometimes the explanation has to be there, but you can't explain to everybody. Yeah, exactly. What you just said is that you know them, right? Yeah. So the thing, I think there's like a mis, misconception of people because you allow people into your life yeah. through mm. social media, they feel like they know you. Yeah. yeah. Because I see a lot of like they things got about you. I see, and so they feel like I know you. So yeah. now I'm upset because you didn't answer me, and yep. I know you saw it, and yep. I know you're here because you, you checked in there, and yeah. then you tagged this place. Uh-huh. But it's like, no, because I don't. you don't actually know them. But if you mm. did know them, let's say that that is the scenario, and Antoine posts something that wow. we're like, whoa, he's tripping. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then Yo. you're gonna be like hey i know that's not antoine yeah yeah yeah. And so i'm gonna text him or i'm gonna call him and check on him yeah. because i know that's not Antoine. yeah and then i think that we make ourselves uh uh available. more available than most yeah mm-hmm. we do mm-hmm. you, we tell interact. you tell me you tell me all the time not, oh, yeah. not i tell brian much. that he makes himself too available sometimes yeah because people Honestly. get i get it i think they get a, look at the one guy that's almost blamed brian for his choice yeah you can't blame nobody for your, you yeah. know, the choice. Like yeah. that's crazy. Yeah. yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, so it's a, you know, so it, it, look, I'll just say this: it's definitely not all bad. So it's it's cool, and 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 we'll definitely take the time out for people, and we'll go yep. the extra mile. But we can't always yeah. go the extra mile. You're we're gonna going miss to, it. We're you're gonna, gonna miss it. Stuff. That's just you're gonna it miss is. it because yeah. it's too much. Yeah. Most people are dealing with their family and like a few people. Mm-hmm. Yeah. When you start dealing with, I don't know, what you got in your kingdom like a hundred thousand. Like, Man. okay, <laughs> like, that's a lot of people yeah. to have, really like catch them. Yeah. Yep. You really catch them all. You're going to all these states. Everybody's like, hey, yeah. it's almost impossible. Yeah. You, you gotta, you, and if you get, check, check it out. So if you pay all the, because I used to tell these, I used to, everybody had my number. I had to take Messenger off of my phone. Mm-hmm. And I'm not phone. saying like, look, I'm not all that at all. Mm-hmm. I'm just saying how it's coming in. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I got you. Right? And so I had to give an understanding to like, my mom figured it out when she stayed with me for like a week. And then yeah. she was like, she's like, yeah. wow. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. like, yeah, I had to take it because people want to write a whole counseling session, like a whole hour on like, mm-hmm. let me tell you what happened. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And it's like, if I stay there, then I, I, I let's say I'm doing three a I'm night, three story. hours. Yeah. Now, yeah, now I'm not hanging out with my wife and my yeah, kids. So yeah. now I get divorced. And now you're like, oh, brother. It's like, so, I mean, which one you want? You like, got a I'm divorce, always, how dare you? How you're dare like, you? it's your fault. Buddy. You're like, yeah, it's, it's really your fault. <laughs> like, you're like, you didn't want to read your Bible. Like, yeah. we treat God yeah. like that, Yeah. right? Like, no, a lot of definitely. times, people don't want to really get to know him. They just mm-hmm. kind of want the Instagram picture. It's kind of yeah. like taking a photo with somebody that's famous, yeah. like yeah. you were saying, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, they don't really want to get to spend that time with him, mm-hmm. you know, because, and then, Basically, they just get a second hand. Yeah. yeah. The and sad part like is the that the people who, who you know, fall into that kind of, I feel like it's like an addiction, like a weird, like, satisfaction. I'm sure, obviously, you know, mm. everyone knows with social media, the dopamine oh, and all yeah, of absolutely. that with the, with the scrolling. Ooh. It's like, on the flip side, sure, we're talking on this side of the table of like, hey, you know, you're blowing messages up or you're doing this. But then if you're Deep that person, right 
what uh, what effect does that have on your own personal life? Absolutely. Because you're mm-hmm. investing so much time or so much you know care anxiety into this other person yeah. or this other entity or this other you know thing is that it's like okay how is that affecting your circle and the people that are around you? Yeah. Are your kids being being neglected because you're over here worried about somebody's social media yeah, yeah, or yeah. you know your mm. your marriage your relationship all of these things? It's yeah. like you know let's be more aware. I think. Yeah, and, and you know what? Here's the truth. You want to hear the like, like, like let's. Just let's get there. Let's get, there. let's get there. Let's give so, us that. So when you when you when you go to like the dog track, mm-hmm. you know I think I mentioned this in a message mm-hmm. not long ago. But you go to the dog track, you got all these dogs in the dog track behind the gate. And they're all focused because they all have vision. There's a rabbit there that's tied to something, and they're all like focused. They're like, I gotta get the rabbit, I gotta get the rabbit, I gotta yep. get the rabbit. So when the thing pops up, boom, boom. they start running after the rabbit. Now, if you remove the rabbit, mm. what'll happen is that that dog will stick his nose in the other dog, man. Because they have no vision. So most people that yeah. are in everybody's business, they don't see where they're going. Mm. Ooh, that's good. So they got to put their nose. That's what dogs would do. If we had a bunch of dogs yeah. and they had no no purpose, nowhere mm-hmm. to go, they'd start sniffing each other. Everywhere. Yeah. Right? I mean, yeah. I hope y'all ain't offended that I said that, but it's the truth. It's that's true, what true, really true. happens. Yeah, go yeah. get two yeah. dogs. Yeah. They yeah. start sniffing each other. Yeah. But if you yeah. push something that has their focus and attention, like, I don't got time to, like, be like, hey, bro, why do you need to call me? Even though sometimes we'll be like, man, we haven't talked in a while. Even me yeah, and yeah, you, yeah, 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 right? Me and you, yeah. But I'm not upset about it because I understand that we're like chasing the rabbit, chasing yep. the rabbit. We have yep. vision. Yep. So I don't have time to really get upset yes. because I'm like, I know you just as busy. Yep. Mm-hmm. yep. You with me? Yep. And I think we have to give room to people. Yeah. yeah. Because on the other side, you don't really know what's happening. Like right now, if he didn't mention that they were stuck, you might think they out there and, you know, doing ministry and stuff. Mm-hmm. But the reality is that they might be out there, like I saw them yesterday, not just trying to get some food, but figuring out where they're going to shower <laughs> yeah. and buying some yeah. T-shirts. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Can't so in, in, in your mind, you're like, why don't they answer? While they're, yeah. they're literal human beings yeah. that are trying right. to walk with Christ in their crisis. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And we Absolutely. don't give people like, we, we don't know what you're going through as a parent. Mm-hmm. We don't know anything. Like sometimes you are bumping heads with your spouse. You want me to stop? What? I, hold on, babe. Mm-hmm. Um, we, can't, we can't argue right now because... Um, I got a call. It would be crazy. I, 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 I want to ask something super simple mm. that that's like, um, it is not even revelation. It's just almost common sense. I was talking to Ernesto and Brian in, in the car, and I said, man, s- this walk can be hard sometimes, yeah. just in general. Yep. I said, some days I wake up, and I'm just, I'm on, I'm, I'm on, I'm on the top of the clouds. I'm ready to pray for everybody, lay hands, <laughs> and talk to this person. Mm. I'm, Fire, I'm answering yeah. every email, every message, and boom, boom, Shanda. bam. And then some days... If we just gonna be super transparent, some days I mean, come on, this is real. Some days I'm, I'm struggling just to get through the day for mm-hmm. me. Mm. I'm praying all day, like, yo, man. God, man, this is, this is heavy today. Yeah. I'm praying for me just to make it through the mm-hmm. day, mm-hmm. Yeah. right? And then you message me and I don't get back to you, man. I'm just trying to make it through the day right now, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. So I need so, prayer. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, man. So the reality is, it's a this is our, our own walk every single day. And there's different, you go through different things, man. So just in Facts. general, we all really like, well, let's just get back to the basics. Let's make sure we're praying for each other yeah. in general. Let's Enjoy, not try loving to, one another. Yeah, trying to find ways to be offended. Let's just pray Forgiving for one, one another. another. Absolutely. Well, well, we're in a race. It, it, uh, Paul called it in a race. And um, I, I believe that every athlete that's in the race, you got to keep your eyes uh, focused Facts. ahead. And you can't look at how uh, the other runner, runners are running and how they're doing because if it's going to make you stumble and trip yeah. because you're either going to start – when you start comparing and competing where I do this with my time and you should do this with your time and not knowing where, where he's at in his walk, uh, you either become envious, yeah, prideful, yeah, you feel like you're better, or, or you know what I mean? You be, it, It's hard for you to run a race when you're so focused on everybody else's speed and, and their endurance and strength, but you have to train yourself. And it's yeah. not just an hour practice once once a week. It's like an everyday thing. How What's, what's going to take me to focus? And yeah. like you said, my, minding my business, helping other people on, on the way, and pursuing the purity of Jesus, man. They tell you not to look back in, in a race because it slows you down. It slows you down, or, yeah. even, or yeah. even to the yeah, side. You, you keep yeah. watching. Look, to the side, yeah. You keep looking. What type of shoes they got? Yeah, or what yeah. type? What type of lifestyle, marriage they got? Let's not even go. What type of car they got? Go in the how big? No. How big is their church? Not or the who's following the them? Why ain't nobody yeah. cheering me on? I see they yeah. got cheer. Like you start asking, like, and next thing you know, you're way behind in the race. You're about to quit the race because you focus on the wrong thing in the race. Amen. Hey, hey, that's, you know, I was looking over here, Psalms, and I know I hear you say this a lot, but Psalms 1 and 3, it says, 
uh, one, one through three, it says, How blessed is the man who does not walk in the counsel of the wicked, nor stands in the path yeah, of sinners, yeah, yeah. nor favorite. sit in the seat of scoffers, but his delight mm -hmm. is it's in the, the law of the Lord. Lord. And he what? meditates. His delight. Delight. Uh -huh. the is in the, the law Lord. of the Lord, and the law, and in his law he meditates day, day and, night. and night. And then this is the part mm. I really like right here. He says, mm. He will be like a tree uh -huh. firmly planted. Oh, I like, uh huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> Look at your neighbor. Uh, wipe your okay. forehead. He'll be uh -huh. firmly planted. He'll be firmly planted. <laughs> It, by the streams of water which yields its fruit in its season Amen. and its leaf does not wither and in whatever he does he shall prosper <sighs> right and I you know because even in what we're talking about a lot of times we're so focused on let's say on your fruit mm -hmm. his but if season. we would yeah and his season it says because, in its season because so it you've been season. firmly planted Man, because you've cool. been rooted and Man. because you've been through some things and you've continually been consistent Man. in the things of the Lord then all of a sudden, boom, you got some apples. Now, I'm upset, yeah. but I'm not in my word, or I'm not praying, or you, I'm not doing some of the things that maybe I'm not leaning on God's grace because we know it's completely by his grace. Yeah. Yeah. But, yeah. And, but we don't lean upon that. They and don't and then we get upset when we ain't got, when it, it, in your season, if you're doing what you're supposed to be doing, you're going to have a season where you're going to start bearing fruit. They don't even yeah. know what you go. We always talk about, we, we look at what somebody and has, and bear. we don't yeah. even know what they went through to get to Chakra. that. I, I'm super transparent, yeah, right? Yeah. Come on. And in 2020, I didn't even share with people some of the stuff that I went through. Mm -hmm. Like literally, like people could take. I I had to cry some days. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. So for you, when you to, for you to see me where I am now and be like, and and have some sort of, to even have an opinion on where I'm at, but you don't even know <laughs> what I went through. Come on. And so 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 is God's building us up in these trials and these tribulations that were promised. Yeah. You know what I mean? Some of those trials and tribulations are harder than others. Facts. And for, and when we get to where we where we are right now, you don't know what I went through to get to where I am. Mm. And and they're so judging for, your harvest, yeah. but they didn't see the seed. You they planted. didn't even see. They don't see what it. They didn't even know how hard it was to stick it out. Yeah. Stephanie, talk to us because I see you looking Man. at Antoine right now. Like, let me drop this. <laughs> <laughs> no, like you were talking about in 2020, right? And everyone was talking about, oh, you know, you know your friends because those are people. You know, those are the people that are checking on you and this and that. But it's like everyone, this is a new experience mm -hmm. for everyone. Yeah. Same thing Every, with social mm -hmm. media. Same thing with your walk with Christ. If you're barely experiencing this, it's new for us too. It's yeah. new for everyone yeah. that's experiencing it. And sorry that we don't know how to handle a thousand messages right away. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> sorry sure. that we're learning how to balance I'm, work, life. You know, people have co people have 15 this. coworkers and one boss and they can't handle their life. Well, you, you always you know? hear the, the thing where, where it doesn't matter whether it's a business owner, it doesn't matter. Um, you always hear like everybody has, you know, I think it was in the book, not a fan. I read it a long time ago, so I'm trying to like bring it back. But he says something most of the time uh, fans, not followers. He was talking are the mm. ones, the ones that never go to practice. The ones that never are taking a hit oh, yeah. are the ones who are yelling from the sidelines, oh, going get, they, like, they, "How could you not catch that ball?" Yeah. Because they weren't the one really on the field That's trying to real. catch the ball. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I feel like a lot of times we forget that we are all walking with Christ, trying mm -hmm. to figure out every day. It's daily. every day. So yeah. when something new, okay, it's kind of like I was hearing today with the snow and stuff. Yeah, and that's I was, where I was we're, going. We're, yeah. we're, we were having the conversation yeah. of the pipes and all that. I'm like, Texas don't know how to deal with that. Yeah, yeah it's like, like come on, y'all, just, like, just drive it. to work and this and that. It's like, okay, but this is a new experience for yep. Texas. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For yeah. Texans, yes, yeah. right? Because, okay, for Northerners or for yes. New Yorkers, everybody's yeah. like, oh, you know, it's simple. Yeah, I had to apologize. Yeah, I had to apologize to my homie. Like, y'all, my bad. I I forgot. I'm all I'm all on my Indiana high horse. Oh, no, yeah. Yeah, I had to repent this morning yeah. too. I'm like, man, maybe God, I, maybe I don't know what I'm doing. Yeah, yeah. Not. No, like, no, no. Because I didn't want, like, because you get into that, like, well, y'all should have. Mm -hmm. But the reality is that everybody's not where you might be. And even if you could look at that from a spiritual right, maturity, right, exactly. right? This guy, he's seen from eight years old. He's seen from 13 years old. He's seen, yeah. you know, spiritually. Yeah. And so just because you see uh, from a certain place, you're, to be honest, if we go Romans 15, you're supposed to embrace the immaturity of another person mm -hmm. and come down and bring them up to where you see. Mm. Yeah, and that's it, that's a 
powerful, right? Because we don't want to do that. We just want to tell you, like, yo, this is what. Like, there's you new wrong. experiences that everyone's having, and then okay, we're new to this, it's so the we process. just experience this. Yeah. But then you have to learn the tools that you need mm -hmm. to be able to overcome that, Absolutely. right? Yeah. And yeah. to handle that experience, it's like if you look at it spiritually, you look at it, you know, right now with Texans in the snow, it's like they Humility. don't have snow tires, yeah. they don't have mm -hmm. the stuff to cover their pies. That in the spiritual sense, it's like okay, you're having, you're encountering a new experience with Jesus. You have a new walk. You yeah. woke up this day and you're yeah. super mad, or you woke up this day and yeah. you're dealing with this, you know, temptation. It's like okay, what tools do you have in your belt so that you can address so those now that you good. went through that's this good. that's good stephanie come on that's good next time something like this come around you're gonna be like you can choose to be foolish or you can choose to be wise that's right mm. i'm gonna do this this time Ooh. oh i remember Ooh. this Ooh. yeah, yeah. I, re I remember in 2021 when this happened uh i'm going to prepare i'm gonna go get yeah. salt i'm gonna get my yeah. shot oh, 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 you prepare and check it out storm in life. And, and, and do you hey, here's the thing uh you know, Toyota taught me this, preventative maintenance, right? So as long as I take my car periodically, I don't have to really deal with the big problems. So with this, like you were stating, do we wait to get the salt the day of the problem? Mm -hmm. Or do we... Before. Yeah. You know what I'm what saying? You start you putting in your tool. I said, you start hey, putting in your tool belt. Even I, said, yeah. I, bet you we get, uh, I bet you we get these generators this time. Oh, right? yeah. mm. we'll, be, be, we'll be prepared for next time. We got a brother in, 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 um, in, in Terrell, Texas. Shout out to Julio. Shout out to Julio. Julio has like 10 solar powered generator and nah. we, we laugh at him sometimes we always mess with him what? because he goes against yo yo he even he even has it down to having seed seed Ooh. of different he has his, all this stuff and we're always yeah. making fun of him like oh you're ready for the war ha ha, ha. guess who but probably was the most comfortable who was ready though. Time. <laughs> chilling julio, yeah, exactly. julio was cool julio was good to go and every i mean mm. mres uh, all these different things he's ready he had the food ready while everybody was out of the grocery stores he's already good Right, his family's prepared. Yep. So yep. he was prepared. So and like, it, and it's then fun. people look at it and they're like, "Oh, well, I don't need that right now because the storm is over." Yeah. Mm. But are you keeping it in your your tool shed mm -hmm. for when the storm comes when up comes. again later? It, it right? will. It will come again though. There, oh, yeah. There's gonna be another again. storm. It might not yeah. be the same well, exact it's, one, but it's, it's the same thing. So you know, I think we got to a place where everybody goes to church. Everybody goes to church. You know, everybody goes to church, and the church is very important. It's to equip the 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 saints to right. do the work yeah, of the ministry. And, and I think sometimes we go to like, I don't know, kind of like getting high. You know, you go, get my fix. you get your fix, and then you leave without true transformation because you don't want to apply what they said. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, it's the difference between having a shepherd and a pastor yeah. and having like a motivational speaker. You know, oh, that yeah. was real good, man. That was oh, fire. Yeah, that's good. But you don't really do it. Yeah. And so um, now that the times get tougher, yeah. it's all now it's like, what do we do? It's like, well, whatever you've been learning for the last four Didn't years. Didn't you listen to my <laughs> series <laughs> when the storm comes? Yeah. We've only talked they were about like, yeah, 18 I shared storms. It. Yeah, I shared it. <laughs> I liked it. I liked it. <laughs> I liked but it. it's true, though, right? Like, like think about how they... Look, we were joking, right? And yeah. we're like, oh, Brian, bro, brother Brian. But the Brian is trying to introduce people to Jesus, mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. right? Yeah. You're like, yo, I hang out with Jesus, and let me tell you what he does for me yeah. out of your time with Jesus, right? But a lot of people... We talked about this last time when we went to the, I think it was in uh, New Braunfels sign, and ah, all the people, right? And all of a sudden, boom, we're going back there. And you come out, and they're like, yo, they, you're giving them a word that that they're to receive implanted so it could save their soul. Yes. Yeah. Right? Is what James yeah. says. That's what you're trying to do with a beat. Yeah, with a beat. Uh-huh. Yeah. But they're like, yo, that song was dope, but that's as far as it goes because they either receive it from mm -hmm. God through you or from Brian. Yeah. Man, that's good. And if they receive it from just, just Brian, like, yo, like, this they, is a dope they track. It. They missed it. They missed it. They yeah. missed it. Yeah. And that has to be frustrating because I think it was Smith Wigglesworth I was reading in a book where he said that he, uh, man, one day he just dropped crying because he was getting all these letters. This is a mm -hmm. true story, right? Yeah. He's getting all these letters and they're like, we want you to come here. They wanted him to come back to some other places he went to mm -hmm. and he fell apart because he was like, I, I'm, I'm, they're missing it because they want me Mm. And I'm trying mm. to leave them with Jesus so yeah. that they could continue to do it. Yeah. Like, I don't want to go back. The fire should have been lit. Yeah, the let fire should have been lit. Yes. And, and now I got to come light a fire that when I leave, it's probably going to go out again. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. they're just waiting for And when you hear that a lot, like, right? Nobody really wants to come to 21 Days of Prayer. Yeah. Right. Yeah. But everybody want to come to, like, we have whoever's coming you know yeah you mentioned hey we winter yeah. jam yeah <laughs> bring your glow yeah. sticks hey the most i think the um i think the most rewarding thing if come on have, is no when sugar, we go I, send it back. <laughs> oh my God. I think the most rewarding thing is when we go and we minister and god moves right yeah 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 not yeah. not even like like for real 
God moves. Yeah. It wasn't yeah. just they would just enjoy the mm-hmm. concert, right? Mm-hmm. And then they hit us up and they'd be like, hey, we want to bring you back, right? But the person that hits us up to bring us back is somebody who was there yeah. that had a real encounter, encounter with Jesus. And, they want the other and God has there. changed their life. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. And their life's different and their marriage is better and they're pouring into their children and they're pouring into the people around them and they're doing this mm. and they're doing that. And now they're like, yo, I want to bring you guys back so you can share this fresh word so that other people can hear about Jesus too. Mm-hmm. Come on. And those are the most rewarding times when we go back and I'd be like, uh, uh, oh, and we go back and I'd be like, man, I remember you crying at the altar and you were yeah. saying you were dealing with this and this so and that. Good. And he's like, man, I'm on fire for the Lord, man. Yeah, that's so God good. planted something in me that day. Bro, you, I don't care about, there's no dollar amount you can put on that. Mm-hmm. There's no, I walk away full off of that mm-hmm. that's because so you don't always get to see the fruit of your labor, right? Yeah. You go out and you're praying because yeah. there, it's really something, I, I gotta pray to get it. But when somebody gets it and you get to encounter it again, you're like, man, you get to go back and just thank God, like, oh God, you're, you're moving, you're working. I say it all the time, the greatest miracle I've ever witnessed on planet Earth is the transformation of a human heart. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. When you can go and see the fruits of repentance in someone's life, you know, it's been years, it's been months, and they literally did a turnaround from the wickedness, and you could just see that they're pursuing Jesus with all their heart, and man. their family's being restored. And and I'm looking like, Lord, man, you're amazing because you did it to me. So I love to see it happen to others. Yeah. And that's why that's why we, we travel around the world, hope, yeah. hoping that they will get that transformation of their heart and the renewing of the mind, mm. where they could be set free. And we're all like, we, I got it, you got it, we got it. Man. Like we, yeah. the, we, the, the cure works. <laughs> Is better than the vaccine. Is better, this the real cure for sin? Fact. You worried about COVID? I'm talking about. I mean, but the whole the, the cure to sin. The whole entire like when you really like slow everything down to just think, you know, the Apostle Paul is always talking about the I'll preach the crucified Christ. Yes. And mm-hmm. and, and mm-hmm. every answer when he's talking to Corinthians about sexual morality and and you know like back then in Corinthians like I think in First Corinthians what they were doing was that there were people who came and spoke with wisdom. And yeah. he was like, the foolishness of Christ is wiser than your wisest Ooh. man, man. Right? And and he kept going. And these guys, they would come, the special speakers that everybody liked. Yeah. Sound familiar? <laughs> it's been, this has been going on for a long yeah, time. Yeah, yeah. But back then, they were giving them prostitutes. Mm-hmm. That's what was happening. They were giving them prostitutes. They were giving women because if you were wise, you can do whatever you want because you had the freedom because you were smart enough. Mm. Yeah. And so he's he's like, I got one answer. You know, it's the, it's the crucified Christ. The amazing part about this, Brian, is that... When we really look, it says when we believe in our hearts, yeah. right? When we believe. In other words, when I think of believe, I think about perception, sight. When I think of prayer, I always think about sight. Because when I'm praying, even inwardly, everything is about an inward change. We keep changing things outside. You think if you change your next relationship, if you change uh, your next job, yeah. if you if you got more money. It, yeah. You know, that's not what changes you. It's, it's the heart change, right? Yeah. And when you believe in your heart that Jesus Christ died on a cross... What you're basically, your perception should be that you believe that if you die in your flesh, buried, resurrected, and ascension, that you, anything that's in your life, you can put the death in your flesh and that'll resurrect. Mm. That's the, that's the view that you should have. That's how we continue to die daily because we, we're foolish enough yeah. to believe like, okay, I'm tripping over here. Yeah. I need to put that to death. Yes. Bury it. <laughs> <laughs> so that it could resurrect from a spiritual mm-hmm. place. You, your your sight should be that. That should be your daily thought. Paul said, I die daily. And yet we want to be, we want to have the t-shirt. <laughs> Check it out. You know why I'm doing so good today? Because I got my kingdom. Oh. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> hey, y'all didn't know. I done pulled it out. I love y'all were like, yo, what's it. going on? I'm like, I'm going to throw back the throwback. Let me see. It. Ernesto, throw- you got yours on? <laughs> oh, yeah, that's the problem. You better have a kingdom. That's, that's the problem. <laughs> hey, so the, uh, <laughs> it says Target. <laughs> so, so, no, no, so right here. Oh, oh. oh. <laughs> we connected. You know we connected. Yeah. Same thing. Yeah. Same thing. Yeah. So, so here's the thing. It's the inner man. Man. It's yeah. the inner man. It, you know, it's funny, but even that you can look that it's not really the outer wear that we it's the inner man that makes us different. Oh, it's, man. It's, it's a thought like one you thing s- we haven't under I feel like people need to really understand is that that's the call that God has placed on Brian's life, the call that God has placed on Antoine's life, on Pastor Juan's life. And so many people are walking around on my own life. And so many people are walking around trying to imitate 
what God called Brian to do, trying to mm. imitate what Antoine, God called Antoine to do, well, and imitate well, that's well. Pastor that's Juan. That's a sermon by itself. You're right. They, 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 even in the Bible, they talked about a, a strange fire at the mm -hmm. altar. Mm. That strange fire, meaning they were trying to imitate the fire of God. There's a difference between a man-made fire yep. and a God-made fire. Yeah. That's very true. Steph. They even talked about when... Uh, um, the, when Moses was was doing, God was doing all these uh, the, the plagues mm -hmm. and different things, and then the magician was like, "We can do that too, Bam. Yep. They were just imitating it until God was like, "Okay, let me really show him." Oh, yeah. you've been on your Moses yeah. lately. I could tell. Hey, hey, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. My hey. boy, he been talking about hey. Moses all week. Hey, look, look, I'm, I'm, I'm in it every day. He even yeah. called Moses a different name. He was like Moshe. I was like, <laughs> I said, "Who?" He said, "Moshe." I was you like, "Don't know." Well, that's the Hebrew. Uh, <laughs> no, but, <laughs> but hey, he it was, it was he has a stick. He put it against the wall. I'm like, yeah. who's this that? He's like, don't worry, <laughs> talking about. Don't, don't worry about, about it. it. Don't worry about <laughs> it. Oh my God. Hey, you got a problem? No, hey, check it so out though. Because you know he was reading it this morning because me and Ernesto come from the gym. We knock on his door and this dude said, "You didn't." See, this is what he said when he opens the door. You didn't see the the blood at the top of my door. I did. <laughs> I did. I said you guys were supposed to pass over my door. Oh my God. Hey, how beautiful is that, Thank though? You, yeah. yeah. Hey, you so know? it's fun. It's I so, love that. So all, so so man, this is like man when you when you we can um. We can get deep into the stories of Moses and all right. these different things, yeah. right? Maybe man, people, everybody doesn't know these stories yet. Yeah. If you get a chance, go read it. Mm -hmm. We can bring it back to practicality, right? Mm -hmm. All of us sitting at this table yeah. come from something, yeah. right? Some kind of hurt, some kind of different things, whether whatever we went through, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. And we a real God showed up in our real lives yeah. and really changed it. Split the Red Sea in each right? of our lives. And so... And so well, so we can get back to just practicality of our re everyday lives. Yeah, like we really had to be healed and delivered and set free from some different <laughs> things. Uh, we are still being healed, delivered, and set free from some things. We're yes. still learning and growing every day. Like so, this is if we just break it down. Like yo, 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 skip all that. Maybe you don't know all those things. Let me just tell you what God's done for me. Right? Like that's, that's like that's, that's funny because like, the enemy is not like he just gives up. Once nah, he's saved. every day <laughs> he's, he's like, trying. oh, oh, they said to Jesus. All right, let me back hey, up. Hey, let's nah. let's let's speak on that. <laughs> Going yeah, back yeah, to the book of, of Moses, when yeah. they came out of Egypt, where where did Pharaoh and his soldiers come? They come at they came after them. Oh yeah, from behind. They, they, they was right down. behind them. Yeah, they was right behind them. So yeah. just a notice that the enemy is not going to stop. She said he's they not. A, even, that's one thing about Satan. He's not. A, he's not a quitter. Look, and then it's Satan. He's going to keep coming. Satan doesn't some, even have common sense. I, I, I mean, what I'm saying is like 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 when you go to the story. Yeah, bro, they were following behind them, and they saw. God split the Red Sea apart for them, and they were, and, and they didn't think like, "Yo, we need to get up out of here." They're like, "Keep chasing them. Mm. Yeah, they we're gonna go right. Coming. We'll go right behind them. I don't care what God just did, because Ooh. even in that story, some of the people were like, "Yo, Man. maybe we should leave them alone." It looks like their God. <laughs> Wait a minute, the God just split yeah. the water. And, and, and Pharaoh, Pharaoh and, stop. Yeah, and Pharaoh yeah, was like, "Nah, keep going." Yeah. Right. So yeah. let's just know the enemy. Yeah, he's not. That was a hardened heart. He let up. He, yeah. he, because you know when when God keeps speaking to you and you don't listen, Man. your heart gets hardened. Yeah. Because yeah, you you love the tr you 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 love the lie more than the truth. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, you the truth that you embrace is the reality you live. So Man, a lot of times good. what happens is when we were in the world, to be honest, we thought some of the things we were doing were truth. truth. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That was and our we're truth. like everybody else is tripping. That was our truth. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah that was our truth, Absolutely. even though it was a lie. Yeah. Absolutely. You know. Absolutely. And to me, true deliverance is when you really realize that the, when the truth meets your lie. I love mm -hmm. that when you say that it is is true deliverance because yep. I think at that moment for all of us is what makes you step out of whatever you're in when you choose to listen to a voice yep. of truth yep. right and that that's really what pulls you out you know I, I love the story of Moses and all that stuff because to me I'm thinking like I always think about how millions of people mm -hmm. I, I think that because yeah. when we talk about the twelve tribes. You, you know, I look at them as the 12 shot callers. Come yeah. on, you know what I'm saying? You got, you got shot callers, bro. These guys, like, they call shots. Yeah, yeah, yeah they call shots. You know, yeah. I mean, I'm talking to my prison folk right now, but just to give you, it's the same concept. That's they facts. call shots. Yep. You know, they, they leaders. Yeah, yeah, they're leaders. Right? But they don't, oh, my God. They don't, they don't go, they lead millions not mm. into the promised land. Mm. Mm. Mm-hmm. That trips me out yeah. all the time. When I think, like, millions? Like, there wasn't one dude that was like, eh. No, there was just the two, Joshua and Caleb. You know, they were like, we see it. Yeah. But everybody else is unbelief. So I'm thinking like millions. Mm -hmm. Millions, and bro. Only, and only two get it. And two get it. And he, he has to go with a whole new generation up in that joke. Yep. Yeah. Man. That's, that's crazy to me. Mm -hmm. That's powerful. I trip out. But I, I look, it, and here's the thing. 
Look, it says, my dear brother, this is James. Yeah. I, I love the book of James. You know, I yeah. think every man should read the book of James over and over and over and over. And over, and over. James for weeks. I, think, I think it's just, to me, <laughs> it's so, it's, it's, because you got to think. It's super Here you got right? James, mm -hmm. brother of Jesus, yep. Yep. right? Who literally didn't believe in Jesus. Right. Mm -hmm. So, right, they kicking it mm -hmm. their whole life. And mm -hmm. like, he like, yeah, whatever, Jesus. Like, <laughs> like it's all life. <laughs> he it's was like, brother. <laughs> 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 who cares? Yeah, yeah. I don't care that you're walking on the water in the tub. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a frog you in your head. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, he's probably doing all this stuff. But the power in that is that later he believes. So I'm thinking when later he's he writing believes. this, he's going. Everything he probably saw Jesus do. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. It makes he's sense like, now. <gasps> It makes sense. Probably it makes was sense. an overwhelming day. Like, yes, and you know mm -hmm. that as a brother here, even when it starts, it says, J James, a servant of God and of the Lord Jesus Christ. Yep. He didn't even hit him with my brother. brother. My blood my brother. My yeah. brother. We had him right That's what we would have done. We were in the same tune. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. like, Jesus, my brother. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> King yeah. of kings. Yeah. Lord of lords. He's a yeah. servant of the Lord yeah. Jesus Christ. Man. Servant of the Lord Jesus Christ. Servant. You know, he got killed he got thrown off the pinnacle of the top of a temple did yep. not know that yeah yeah off the top of they asked him like is all he had a, this is the part that rocks me <laughs> so his whole life he denies jesus yep mm -hmm. his whole life i mean let's be real deny him one more time and i live yeah i've been doing it my I've whole been, life I've been doing my whole life yeah. so i just gotta just all i gotta do is be like just nah. one more time Lord. yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah. i mean but on the cool like I, my whole life i'm like eh, nah, 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 nah. so they go hey you're gonna die and i start thinking i start rationalizing like hmm I deny him one more time, and I spread the gospel. Something he's right? comfortable doing. Yeah. Yeah. The gospel yeah, yeah. after this, I get to escape, and he says no. So they push him off of a pinnacle. Yep. He doesn't die when he doesn't die. Yeah. They beat him with a billy club. That's and, when he and died. He could have. Yes, he could have been like, I deny him. He just blah 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 until he died. Wow. So there's some power there because it would have been real easy. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. You you've done it. Man, yeah. Pastor Wine had me. Uh, That's good. Man. Pastor Wine had me go through a whole study of James. The Book of James. It was a few weeks. It was like what, four yeah. weeks or something like that. Yeah. And I walked away from it like, yo, James was like one of the realists. Yes. Like he just was like. He was so real about the gospel, and that's what I'm saying. Yeah, like, he's so raw. So this is that, that's why people, um, cause we you you get the um, you get the people that be like, man, you're still out here in the middle of a pandemic, and it's yeah. like, it's like, yo. I, if there's some, if, if this is the last day, this is the worst that can happen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like if this is the last day and somebody receives <laughs> Jesus, yo, they, they don't even want to go into that conversation right now. Every That's moment of it. And James was James was like, "Yo, I'm out. I'm out here." Oh he, no, he was so bro. hard about it. Mm -hmm. He would, he would. People would be talking about. Yeah. It. He'd cut him off he like, "Yo, truly, it's like this." He truly knew the truth. Well, he, right? Once it he, and it was over with after he found yeah. out the truth. I think inside of uh, of us. I, I mean, when I think about uh, your life, the mantle on your life, the, the the passion that you got. When I think mm -hmm. of Tuan, I think of, of Steph and and all the brothers we're surrounded with. Like, literally, it's like, who are you more scared of, sin or sickness? That's facts. When there's people dying out here and headed to hell, like, Man. there's an urgency inside of me to say. Man, let's let's win as many we can. Yeah, because Jesus. because even in that, Regardless I'm gonna go in a little bit on. with it. I have to. Go ahead. Go ahead. Well, because I feel like I feel like when I read this Bible, mm -hmm. these guys ran into Rome, like they ran mm -hmm. into the fire. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They yeah. didn't run away from the fire. And I know, <laughs> like everybody's gonna be like, well, you know, I don't want. I get it. Mm -hmm. And I, I'm mm -hmm. not. Listen, you, you are where you are. Yeah, that's but where, but where, but where. if I'm at a place where I I personally feel like if I'm I used to a 22 in my Tims, Some, come right, on. in my Tims, yep. a nine in my back, so I got, right? So I'm ready for the for the enemy. Mm -hmm. So I, I, and and not really caring. Think about I the trip, right think now. About the trip I would have been going through the across snow. Across the state lines, with, knowing it's a fed case <laughs> yo, in the trunk. Listen. And you're like, I'm going anyway. Yes, yes. <laughs> in the snow, when everybody, yo, I would have been the only car. Mm. <laughs> you know, I got to make that delivery. Yeah, yeah, I got to yeah. make the delivery. So yeah. all of a sudden now, look, you know, I feel like these guys, they they were not afraid because you say well you know god gives us wisdom and we yep. don't want to okay well then what would you have said to these guys when the when if they would have left where we would have left this room to go bring the gospel in those times we would have got hung upside down and lit like a candle yes yeah. right so would we had said hey don't go because you know if you get lit like a candle you're gonna leave your kids behind uh, they could have said the same thing yeah, they, they could have said yeah. hey don't go out there goliath you know what I'm saying? Yep. Like, uh, you're gonna miss out on your whole. You're young, yeah, you're right. David. Yeah. You have your whole life ahead of you. Like, <laughs> yeah. you, you, you're yeah. gonna be king. You know, yeah. you know, you're gonna die, bro. <laughs> you know, yeah, like, yeah, like yeah. you're gonna die. Like, cause I mean, let's be real. Like, yeah, we have these right. conversations. Like, they didn't have those conversations. Of course they did. They're like, nigga, you little. Oh my god. <laughs> That's what they're saying. Like, they they really like to to just be plain out blunt. That's what they're saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he still goes out there. 
Right, Moses. Moses stuttering under the tree. Crying. He wouldn't even tell God. He would, but God, I can't even talk good. And he'd be like, Nah, I'm gonna use you. Keep yeah. going, mm. man. It, it's it's. I don't know. I, I just believe. I think some of us believe the Bible enough to make us comfortable. Yeah. Mm. Right. I feel like American Christianity is real soft. Well, that, we hold on more to our life. <laughs> yeah, we hold yeah. on more to our life. It's yeah. about yeah. where your treasure lies. Because of the yeah, comfort, it's where your treasure because lies. Because you're comfortable. Yes. Because yeah. you like, you know, watching church online. And yeah. Because you like, mm. you know. I'm doing enough. Ooh, I'm, I'm, I'm doing enough, right? Yeah. I just yeah. want to get by. But, but when God says go, go, go. And I and I feel, I feel like that's inside of us. I feel like th there's a green light inside of me. And I have I've seen the red light where God says stop. Yep. You uh, know? Uh, yeah. He's using, he's he's using my mentor. He's use you guys, Tuan, and everyone around yeah. me to be like, hey, I feel like God's saying slow down. Yeah. Sometimes. And yeah. then I and then mm -hmm. I hear it inside my spirit. Like, okay, slow down. You, there's something else I need you to focus on. Yeah. Because we're like where you were like chains like that. We're like. Mm, but then there's a green light that says. <laughs> there, there's, a, there's been a green light that says you go and I'm with you. Yep. Yeah. And all the heaven comes with me. Mm -hmm. You know yeah. what I mean? And yeah, doors yeah, yeah. open up the and it gets parted. Man, yeah. we, we yeah. see super because super, our supernatural our things. advice when we're like, hey, so that is because we want you to spend more time in certain yeah. areas that yeah. we feel like, hey, because you're you you can't see you're you're on a mission from God. It's kind of like me with the book. I'm like 124,000. I'm like, yeah. you know, yeah. like you somebody got to tell me, yo, yeah. you haven't took a break in a month. It's like. Oh, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. You know? Absolutely. Eat. Did you eat? <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, that's my wife. Did you eat yeah. all the time? I'm like, I have eaten. <laughs> <laughs> I have meat you do not know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, they, yeah. They, they, Did somebody they feed him? Alone. Yeah. They said God. that to Jesus, too. They were like, hey, have you, you know, you haven't eaten. They said the same thing to him. Yeah, because it is wisdom. Even even Jesus had told uh, the disciples, like, yo, chill for a couple of days. Mm. Yeah. Relax. Like, rest. Yeah. Boom, because we get ready to hit it again. Come right? on. So God does, it, you know, it is why God does tell us, hey, slow down, boom. Go boom boom, you know. So there is wisdom in that. It's, too. it's being in the will of the Father. Um, yeah. If if you're daily checking in and you're at the f at the foot of the cross and on your in His presence every day, He's He's gonna let you know where you're supposed to be, who you're supposed to be, yeah. and what you're supposed to be doing daily, every yeah. moment of your life. You yeah. just don't check in every month and say, "Okay, I've been on this mission for you now. You got any other orders?" It's like, no, you check in daily, every yes. every moment mm -hmm. of the day. Mm -hmm. What 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 am I supposed to do with this finance? Because it belongs yeah. to you. You know, as many times that that. That I've kept something in my pocket, and I knew I was like, God, I know this is for somebody. And then we just pull up on that that one person. Remember, we just yeah, pull man. up on him. We're like, come here, God want me to bless you with this. Mm -hmm. And then and just exactly what they need at that moment. And as being led every moment of the day with your time, teller, talent, and treasures, you're like, all I have belongs to you. We we can stay. We and, and not to just to beat beat this thing in. We could stay yeah. home and. There would be people who get the gospel online, different things yeah. like that, right? That could happen. Yep. Uh, or we could go because God tells us to go. Um, even when he was talking about, like, we, we, we were in traffic the other day. Yeah. And um, there was a man, a homeless man on the side. He said cold he out there, yo. Oh, it's freezing cold. Yeah. Freezing yeah. out there. And he's he's definitely not used to it because we're in Houston. Like, yeah, you're not, you're exactly. not prepared for it to be cold like this. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Um, and <laughs> Steph's so, looking beautiful as always. They, <laughs> the, yeah, oh, they shoot. Yeah. They're taking shots right, right now. Go, hey. <laughs> Jonathan. <laughs> so, Jonathan. So, um, She's taken. Yeah, so so um, we ended up, Brian calls him over to the car. And um, he said, hey, 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 I want to bless you with this. And he mm -hmm. goes, and he says, uh, let us let us pray with you. And so Brian begin, begins to pray with him. And um, he breaks down right away. He just starts crying. Mm. And then he goes, oh, man, it hits me. He goes, he starts crying. He says, "I don't, I don't want to be out here no more. I hate being out here." He's crying yeah. in tears. I'm in the back, like <laughs> in yeah, tears, crying. like it's, yeah, it's, it's, it's like, freezing out it's there. Blow, yeah. It blew my mind. We're all in tears. Yeah. And um, and, and and Brian's like, "Yo, cry out to the Lord. He'll he'll provide a way." So even to the point where he went back, and you know, you know, they get the, you know, a lot of times if you give money to a homeless person, you give them their money, they go back over there. What do they do? They hold the sign back up. They mm -hmm. need more money. And he's just broken down. He's he in tears. He up. doesn't hold a sign up. He's just there. And I'm like, man, like. This, this might have been a moment for him to say, you know what, God, I that's it for me. I'll give it up. Tell, tell me what you need yeah. from me. Yeah. Right? And we could have just stayed at home and never had that opportunity. So I look at it like this. We're yeah. encountering people on a daily basis. Everywhere and we seeds go. are being planted. And we're able to pray for people in, in time of need and all these different things. We're, we're walking out the shoe store. What we see Antoine oh, doing yeah. in the middle of praying. Praying, praying, laying hands on people, just yeah. Well, and then even it, though I didn't I, get to look to the side, he was like, "Oh, here they come." <laughs> <laughs> he, said, he said, "Will you take a picture of me?" <laughs> <laughs> and so, uh, and, and, are they coming out right now? Fall down, right fall down, fall down to the floor, fall down, fall down, fall down. Yeah, you're fighting it. You're fighting it. You're fighting it. He was definitely outside praying for folks on his own. On his own. And we're kidding. We like to joke around. We laugh hard enough. Well, because because um. 
these these are life changing moments for people yeah. sometimes. Like and we can pass people. What does the Bible say? Uh, uh, be mindful to um, uh, well, you entertain. Uh, well, you entertain um, strangers, strangers. But by doing so, you unknowingly uh, can angels. Uh, entertain angels. angels. Yeah, I told my wife because I have the light eyes that she married an angel. But <laughs> she didn't know. You know. Hey, she didn't know. So we're <laughs> y'all so didn't know. Hey, look. Hi, Brian. Oh my gosh, I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> and so, that, long story short, uh, God has us set for this mission in this time. And I'm not anybody where God has you at, it's where God has you at. Sure. Assignments are there. Yeah, but there's, a, but, are you but there's an assignment that I know that I'm I, that God's called me to. Yeah. And let me tell you something, you can say whatever you wanna say about me going, but my wife don't play, right? Yeah. Mm. When, when, when hey, the you saw when the, the way his face got when he said his wife don't play. It's real. Straight up. It's real. Shout out to Sister Portia, she don't play. So when, the, yeah. so when the whole like little pandemic thing came, she was like, yo, and don't bring nobody to my house. Mm. And I was like, all right. But my wife's like, yo, Antoine, you gotta go. Mm. So if, if I'm even getting confirmation from my wife who's super hesitant and she's like, you have to go, then, you know, I know this is God, right? So yeah. I'm just moving. And then look, and, and any moment God tells me to sit down, I'll sit down. But I want to listen to him above all what other, other people have to say. Mm. Yeah, true that. So, the thing really is, good. is that we're a, a body, right? So there's the people who are going. And then it's like, where are you at? Because God is using you where you're at. Yeah. Like, he still yeah, needs that's really the people good. working in a corporate 100%. world. He still needs the people working fast food. He needs the people yes. who are, you know, driving Uber, yes. Lyft, all of that. All of that. And it's like so, so much people focus their attention of, oh, well, I need to be here so that I can minister. Oh, I, I should need to go do this so that I can minister. I need, you know, that kind of thing. And it's like, no, everywhere that we are, you know, I mean, when I was a cook, like, I, you know, and I'm going to take back a couple of years back, yeah, right? Yeah, come Whenever on, go I back. First, uh, Way back, started. back into time. <laughs> Before Christ. Serving, no, with Christ. Oh, <laughs> with Christ. Get in line. We ain't going that far back. <laughs> Not BC. <laughs> <laughs> no, but you guys know that I used to be a chef, right? And then I felt like the Lord called me to, to come and just serve at Get Wrapped, you yeah, know, yeah. and I didn't know That's what that looked story. like, yeah. you know? And that part of me didn't make any sense, right? Because yeah. I just finished culinary school. Right. I just graduated. And yeah, I had crazy. just gotten promoted to the to the title of a chef, you know? Oh, amen. And what then, you've been working for. Yeah, and then God's like, oh, well, I need you to go help over here. And I'm like, what? That doesn't make any sense. <laughs> God, you know, and as I time. battled that, you know, there came the time where I was able to work at the church part time. Yeah. And before that, I was trying to do my own thing and be still be in a kitchen. Right. Yeah. And I was yeah, like, I but Lord, that. you gave me this passion. You gave me this thing. I went through this all this school like I didn't understand. And he told me, like, look, you're passionate about this and I gifted you in this area, but I also gifted you in this area. And right now I want you to do this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so I had to sit there and say, wow, you know, and you know what? he opened the door for me to work mm -hmm. part time at the church and part time at a country club where I encountered someone, a fellow cook that was there who needed Jesus at that time. Man. And still to this day, I have relationships with those people Amen. because that's where God wanted me, wow. you know, but if I were wow. to have been like, no, God, you called me to be a chef because this and this and yeah, that, or I no, God, it, yeah. I'm not going to do this. He wasn't, he wouldn't be wouldn't have been able to use me in those things you yeah. know and it's just it, yeah. like yeah man that's so good and that you know what really even good. as long as I've, I've known pastor Juan and, and been been uh, connected to get rap yeah man you've been an awesome essential no, uh, like a, a machine behind <laughs> the man of God come from on everybody from yep. the whole team so we definitely salute you for that because your obedience it shows it, it, in, my, in, in, in his life and what's behind it yeah. the people he that's has awesome. it's always yeah, a fresh breath they cool. know that there's awesome people and you even see a reflection of him in you is awesome oh yeah so it's just the love just the love the, 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 yeah. It's yep. good though. It's good. It. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's been it's been Thank amazing. God. Yep. Amen. That's tight. Thank you guys. That's Amen. really good, man. And so you know, we got a couple minutes today. If you hear his voice, yeah. don't, <laughs> do not harden your heart. Yeah. Harden your heart. <laughs> For real, don't. True. That's the truth. Don't don't, don't yeah. harden your heart today. If you're out there and, and you hear the voice of God and. And may, maybe you've been in the wilderness. You're, you're walking around. Yeah, quick to listen. Stubborn. You you right. don't want to give up you, and and, yep. you, and you keep t trying to yep. trying to make God come to your terms, and you're not going to His terms. This is the moment where where you just have a heart check and say, you know what? I don't want to be in the wilderness no That's more. Yep. I want to see the so promised good. land. I, my check. marriage deserves it. My my kids deserve it. Even if you're not married, my, my I deserve better than what I've been feeding myself. Amen. And God, God wants That's you, so man. Good. Just know that God wants you right now. That's why belief is important. 100%. Right? Because we want to usually lean on what we understand. Yes. Yeah. And God's like, trust me. He's like, mm -hmm. trust in the Lord yep. with all of your heart yep. where your belief is because your belief creates emotions that drive your behavior. Mm -hmm. So whenever you, whatever real. you believe creates mm -hmm. an emotion, right? So even if you're upset, if you choose to believe, because it's two narratives, yeah. that's always going to be the state of mind you have. So yeah. if there's one saying, Hey Brian, you're really upset, and you believe that oh, over man. what God is I'm saying. Really, I'm really, I'm too upset. Oh, forget it. Then you you're gonna get emotions, and it's gonna drive your behavior. Mm -hmm. So you hope that's what the whole pulling down of that thought. Anything that tries to 
take over the belief that you believe in, you pull that thought down because this is what you're supposed to believe. Yeah, yeah bring you know? to the obedience of Jesus Christ. That's good. That's real That's good. good. Man. Get, that, one of the most awesome things, I want to share this real fast. Yeah, yeah that you, 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 that you, that you get to... Uh, that God, um, I think everybody's like, oh, that, you think that's the most amazing thing about God? I think one of the most amazing things about God is that he allows you to choose him. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He could have made you a robot and be like, yo, follow yeah, me yeah. like this. Exactly. If you wanted to. It <laughs> makes the love genuine. But but, yeah. uh, but I don't want my wife, I don't want my, to make my wife love me. Mm. I want to know that my mm. wife loves me, chooses right. to love me, right? And so I look at that, my kids, uh -huh. right? I know I got to, we talked about this yesterday, I got to yeah. be hard sometimes, but yeah, I want them to love me mm -hmm. and know that I love them, right? Yeah. So yeah. I think one of the uh, most awesome thing about God is that he's giving you an opportunity to choose him. Amen. That's amazing. Amen. And you know what? We're going to, we want to thank you so much for tuning in and watching live. I think we might go on the next one. Uh, and another live we're gonna do a part two so thank you so much for tuning in to this is real with juan martinez and stephanie rave and our guests brian and antoine where can they reach you guys real quick your social media if you have the spirit of god oh my <laughs> god where can they reach you uh, you can go to uh facebook uh kingdom music community or you can go to uh we have youtube instagram is kingdom brian music. yeah awesome. or you can go antoine hill kmf on everything Juan Martinez from This Is Real. And I'm Stephanie Rave, and we're so glad you joined us. If you enjoyed the show, be sure to like, share, and subscribe, and turn on your notification bell so you get notified every single time we have a new episode. And don't forget, in Houston, Texas, on 100.7 FM, every single Saturday night, we're on the airwaves from 6.30 to 7.30, man, with real people, real problems, real solutions. The show is rocking. Amen. But not only that, not only is the show rocking, we're also reaching 53 cities 51 state and county jails and prisons and what we're doing is we're bringing the word to them we're bringing them some laughter fire. and some good times and some fire Amen. and so uh for that we need some partners so if you want to partner with us please click on the link below and don't forget to follow us on social media hashtag this is real or on any other platforms pastor juan martinez hey that's a wrap peace <laughs>